Hi everyone. HMS Alert was a 10-gun cutter. It was one of 15 cutters built for the Royal Navy between 1777 and 1778. The construction of HMS Alert was overseen by Henry Ladd, a shipbuilder in Dover, England. It was built to a standard design for a 10-gun cutter, with a length of 90 feet, a beam of 25 feet, and a draft of 10 feet. The hull was made of oak, and the spars and rigging were made of bine. Building of HMS Alert took about six months, and it was launched on June 24, 1777. It was immediately commissioned into the Royal Navy, and it was assigned to the Channel Fleet. The purpose of HMS Alert was to patrol the English Channel, to intercept enemy ships, and to protect British shipping. It was also used to deliver mail and to suppress smuggling. HMS Alert was equipped with 10 4-pound guns and 6 to 12 half-pound swivel guns. It was armed enough to deal with any small ships, but not large enough to confront larger vessels. HMS Alert served in the Royal Navy during the American Revolutionary War. On September 19, 1777, HMS Alert was on patrol in the English Channel when it spotted a 16-gun American brigantine, the Lexington. The Lexington was a privateer, a ship that was authorized by the American government to attack British merchant ships. The Alert gave chase, and the two ships engaged in battle. The battle lasted for about an hour, and the Alert was eventually able to disable the Lexington's sails. The Lexington's captain, John Manley, surrendered, and the ship was taken as a prize by the Alert. The capture of the Lexington was a significant victory for the Royal Navy. It was the first time that an American privateer had been captured by a British warship during the American Revolutionary War. On June 17, 1778, HMS Alert was on patrol in the English Channel when it spotted a 10-gun French lugger, the Carua. The Carua was a privateer, a ship that was authorized by the French government to attack British merchant ships. The Alert gave chase, and the two ships engaged in battle. The battle lasted for about an hour and a half, and the Alert was eventually able to disable the Carua's sails and guns. The Carua's captain, Charles Francois de Launay, surrendered, and the ship was taken as a prize by the Alert. The Carua was a fast and maneuverable ship, and it was a formidable opponent for the Alert. The Alert's victory was due in part to the skill of its captain, Lieutenant John Lutwidge. Lutwidge was a talented sailor and a skilled tactician, and he was able to use the Alert's superior firepower to outgun the Carua. The capture of the Carua was a blow to French morale during the American Revolutionary War. The battle between HMS Alert and Carua was also significant because it was the first engagement between British and French warships during the American Revolutionary War. The battle marked the beginning of a new phase in the war, as the two countries began to engage in direct naval warfare. On July 17, 1778, while patrolling the English Channel, HMS Alert encountered the French frigate Junon. Despite the Alert's smaller size and fewer guns, it bravely engaged in battle. The fierce encounter lasted for several hours with both ships suffering significant damage. Ultimately, the Alert was overwhelmed by the Junon's superior firepower and forced to surrender. The French triumphantly renamed the captured vessel Olette and incorporated it into their own navy. Olette continued to serve as a cutter, performing various duties. Fate took an unexpected turn in 1794 when Olette, while on a mission, crossed paths with the British frigate HMS Antelope. The Antelope, a powerful and well-armed vessel, engaged Olette in a fierce battle. After a grueling struggle, the Antelope emerged victorious, capturing Olette once again. 
Upon its recapture, Olet was reclaimed by the Royal Navy and restored to its original name, HMS Alert. The ship continued to serve faithfully, fulfilling various roles such as coastal defense, anti-smuggling operations, and protecting British trade routes. After years of dedicated service, HMS Alert's career drew to a close in 1803. The ship, having reached the end of its operational life, was deemed unfit for further service and was sold for scrap. Despite its eventual demise, HMS Alert left an indelible mark on maritime history. Its courageous engagements during the American Revolutionary War and its subsequent capture and recapture stand as testaments to its resilience and the bravery of its crews. HMS Alert's legacy serves as a reminder of the enduring spirit of naval warfare and the unwavering commitment of those who serve at sea.
Thanks for watching.